So this is the round that everybody was raving about. If you sidestep to the left, which you should do because that's the Machina's weaker side in the mirror, your line of sight is blurred against throws, making this very hard to see. Basically guaranteed. After a rollback from the ground, the opponent is forced to take meaty moves. Laser Scraper has a ton of active frames, meaning the opponent is forced to block. The second hit, back forward 2-1, is also mid but it's minus 3 on block, meaning my opponent's 10 frame jab will be all my options. The standard high level meta in the Jin mirror was to go for a 1-1 backed up with a chicken counter. Chicken. But since it's a high, I can crouch it. But he can react to my crouch and do the third hit which is a mid to interrupt my while standing punish. The 11 frame gap in between his second and third hit gives me while standing 4-4 but no launch since while standing 2 and twin pistons are too slow. So instead, in this situation, I decided to bait the third hit, block it and get a full punish. Laser scraper, then a micro dash into down forward 4-4 is almost guaranteed from any angle. It's highly damaging, it's practical, the opponent cannot tech roll and you get really good mix up options afterwards. Due to not being able to tech roll, he had weaker wake up options. He knew I'd be coming in for the added pressure. Cross chop forward 1 plus 2 during a roll is usually a great tool for stopping Oki. Since I thought he'd be going for that, I used forward forward 2 to stop his cross chop and keep him under my pressure. At this point, he was forced to tag out. Not simply because he had low health, but because he just guessed wrong too many times in a row. There's no way he was going to have confidence to go for the last gamble with that little health. It would have been way too risky. So I knew he was going to tag. It had to happen. I just had to make sure I timed the punish. After blocking Devil's down forward 1, if you backdash into a left sidestep it will avoid health sweep and twin pistons, which is really good. This really limits his options in that scenario. Choosing whether to tech roll left or right is a really important thing on tech attack. Side switching and tech catches all require different timing depending on the choice of tech roll. When you tech roll on tech and tag, there is a portion of that tech roll that's vulnerable to hits where you can't block, but you're still in the tech roll animation. And tech catching is when you land a guaranteed attack during those vulnerable frames. If your timing was good, you could even land an electric and relaunch the opponent. Tech rolling was just really dangerous against top players. Side switching was really deadly as well. If you timed it properly, you could position the camera angle so that it would switch in a situation that makes it hard for them to see where to block. Really, really strong stuff. For side switching, you had to sort of guess. If they tech rolled left, you had to sidestep left. But if they tech rolled right, you had to sidestep right as well. And it was really quick, so you couldn't react. You just had to read what they were going to do. If the player on the receiving end only had average reaction speed, I mean, there's no way they could react in time to block the launch. If it was like a really sick player with lightning quick reactions, then you could at least make them guess mid or low. But in this particular situation, I had something new that I'd never seen anyone do and I was really excited about testing it out. Voila! Worked like a charm. Look at that. Didn't see it coming. The one option that would probably beat a person expecting a mid or a low and I was really happy that it worked. Right, now that you understand everything, let's watch it all again at the normal speed.
Well, that's that. Thank you guys for watching this one round analysis from this extremely historical piece of Tekken content. Hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.